you're wanting to do a SEMrush PPC analysis in your niche to take a look at what's going on with some of your competitors and maybe even with some of your own ads, then this video is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do. So let's jump in. Uh, first of all, I'll leave a link below where you can uh, sign up for a trial of SEMrush and you can actually use all these tools and everything so you can see how this stuff works. But once you get signed up and you're in your account, um, if you go over to the left hand side, you'll notice that there's this advertising drop down here. So this is going to be our paid advertising, which includes PPC, social media, different types of ads. Uh, but the pay per click, of course, is going to be keyword related because it's search typically. Um, I guess technically there are some pay per click social ads, but Either way, most likely you're going to be using some of these tools here. So I think the first thing to do, we'll start at the advertising dashboard. If you come here, it's going to kind of give you an overview of what all is included from a paid ads marketing standpoint. So you got market analysis, keyword research, ad tracking, and social media ads. Again, PPC is usually referred, referring to Google ads. Um, even Microsoft ads sometimes. So I think what, what, where we'll start is with the actual advertising research um, and take a look at some keywords, kind of see what's going on. So let's pop over to the PPC keyword tool because, you know, PPC ads are pretty well based around keywords. And I always like to use Tesla as the example. So we'll add Tesla in here and it's asking us to insert some keywords. Let's go from SEMrush. Uh, select an ad group. So let's go model Y. Say we're trying to sell some model Y. Tesla model Y looks good. We'll go location. Of course, we're going to be in the United States. And let's say we're in sunny Arizona in Phoenix. So you can see we can get pretty granular with this, right? We can check not just the search traffic, but we could check the search traffic of a specific set of terms like you know that talk about model Y which maybe is something we want to sell and we can also check in a geographic area so let's say we're in Phoenix Arizona we're trying to sell the model Y uh, you know we have <laughs> access to a whole bunch of used ones we're gonna start our own little car lot we want to see how is it going to be possible for us to sell some Model Ys? Probably not going to be able to sell a 2023 Model Y uh, at this time. I think it's just coming out. So that really wouldn't be an option. But of course, when we're going to try to sell something, we want to know like what the cost per click is, what the search volume is, what the competition levels are. And this tool is going to allow us to more or less create little mini ad groups and kind of mock up our ads before we even get started. While that's running, because this is going to be for like a very specific set of terms, I kind of want to show you what we can do from a more high level. So let's open up the domain overview really quick. And let's come over and let's put Tesla in here just so that you can see kind of what is going on here. So when we do this, we'll see uh, uh, an overview that's actually not necessarily for pay-per-click marketing we will need to click to the paid search section here and then it'll actually so show us some paid search information now it doesn't look like Tesla's actually running any ads so that's interesting let's check eBay usually eBay runs a lot of ads so if we click paid search we can come down here all right, so we can see like eBay USA, they're in position number one with their ads. So if we do that search, 
Uh, it's not even showing their ad to me right now, but face mask. They're trying to sell a, a lot of the <laughs> a lot of different stuff. I mean, eBay's kind of all over the board, right? Um, but we can come here and start digging into more of the details. So that was the domain overview where we can kind of see, you know, what's going on from there. We can get into the paid PPC uh, advertising stuff. And then we can just start digging further into positions, position changes, their competitors, uh, different ad copy that they're using. So we can see all the different ads that they have live, how many different keywords, what keywords they're associated with, you know, extremely beneficial information. It's sort of like spying on your competitors ads, <laughs> if you want to think of it that way, but more than just their ads. I mean, we can see all sorts of data in here that is going to be extremely helpful. Some of this stuff we'll need to actually connect, uh, you know, a Google Ads account and different tools in order to see it. But we can look at the keyword gap too. So we could say like, what's the difference between eBay and Amazon? So let's say we run eBay, our competitor is Amazon. Well, Amazon's crushing us. <laughs> Obviously, everybody knows that. <laughs> Uh, but the keyword overlap, there's actually a lot of overlap, but you can see how much larger Amazon is. There's 63 million keywords that Amazon is advertising for, whereas there's only 40 million that eBay is, which makes sense. A Amazon's a huge company. They have basically any product you could possibly imagine, right? So I hope you're starting to see how this can give you some insights into what your what's going on with your ads your competitors ads what the difference is between those so that you can start to fill in the gaps right when you're doing digital marketing the idea is to create a superior ad or landing page or funnel or you know whatever you're creating website if yours is superior to your competitors you basically got to win right? Amazon is superior to eBay in a number of different ways. Two-day two shipping, you know, the return policy, all the product selection that they have, on and on and on. It's just a superior website. I mean, they're kind of different, right? They do both have third-party sellers on the platform, but eBay doesn't necessarily provide as much of its own products, it seems. So either way, Having the ability to come in here and compare a whole bunch of competitors to your own company, see what is in the gap is going to allow you to better compete and outperform your competitors. So now that this is done here, let's come back and take a look. So theoretically, we were going to try to create a campaign where we're selling the Model Y and we can do some sorting here and see so tesla model y obviously that's going to be the most searched term model y 2022 so then people are starting to search for specific years even the 2021 2023 doesn't look like it's going back past that of course we could add more keywords in here uh, but we can also see the cost per click so if we want to if we wanted people who are looking for a tesla model y to come to our new car lot our used car lot where we sell used Tesla Model Ys, it's only going to cost us about 65 cents per click. And there's a decent amount of competition, which is actually good because that means people are making money. If people aren't advertising on a keyword, then there's no money to be made on the keyword usually. So this actually looks pretty interesting. You know, if I was thinking about starting a used car lot and selling Teslas, I would probably, in, in this area at least, I would probably think to myself, you know, this could be doable. Let's take, let's take a further look at what's going on here, right? And that's the whole idea. If you're about to set up a Google Ads campaign, you don't want to go into it blind. If you are running Google Ads and it's not working, you probably need more data to figure out what's going on, what your competitors are doing. And the SEMrush 
tool is going to allow you to do that in a number of different ways for PPC ads. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of using SEMrush for PPC analysis or for looking at your competitors or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.